Saudi Arabia's self-declared ceasefire in Yemen has gone into effect. Riyadh claims the pause in the aggression is intended to allow uh, for the delivery of aid. However, Saudi fighter jets continue to pound Yemen ahead of the pause targeting a medical center in the northwestern Hajar province. Turkey has launched fresh airstrikes on the positions of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers Party in Mount Kandil in northern Iraq. Turkey launched the strikes after a string of attacks in recent days against its security forces that have been blamed on PKK militants. While the Syrian army has advanced against the ISIL terrorists in the ancient city of Palmyra in the central province of Homs, the ISIL has been wreaking havoc in the ancient city since May. Meanwhile, Damascus says the army and Kurdish fighters are close to taking full control of the northeastern city of Hasaka. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation is strong to condemn the recent incursion and desecration of the al Aqsa Mosque compound by the Israeli settlers. OIC Secretary General Iyad Amin Madani has called on the international community to act and stop uh, Israeli attacks on the Holy Side, warning they fuel religious conflict and instability. Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has arrived in Iraq on the final leg of his three nation regional tour. His trip follows visits to Qatar and Kuwait. Zarif told Kuwaiti officials that Tehran stands by its Arab neighbors in their fight against the ISIL and other terrorist groups. Russia aims to boost the strategic positions of its navy on the Black Sea. Moscow says the latest maritime doctrine underscores the country's reaction to the expansion of NATO towards Russia's western borders. The doctrine also highlights Russia's naval presence in the Atlantic, the Arctic, and the Mediterranean. In the U.S., a conference on police violence against African Americans in Cleveland ended in violence after police used pepper spray on participants. The officers also made some arrests, including a 14-year-old boy. The Cleveland Police Department is already under a reform program after a federal probe into its practices. And French farmers demanding higher prices for meat and milk have brought chaos to the country by holding protests and blocking roads across France. The farmers say they can't compete with cheap imported products and supermarkets uh, demands to pay them less are pushing them out of business.